Hi, I hope you're doing well. I just want to go over the process with you real quick. It's actually a lot more straightforward than I suspected. Just go to sales, enter order confirmation. And then we go in here. We do all the requests and information. So we put EC in there. Get the test. Test for all the required information. I'm just putting random stuff in here. And then we put location worldwide. Then we're gonna pick any random item, right? All right. So uh, I'm just gonna pick this, put this item. I'm gonna say 50, so you guys know it's a fluke item. And then we're gonna go all the way over here. And you know, of course, if you want to change your price, you go to custom level, and you can say this is actually 120. And then instead of having a special order, you're going to do drop shipment. Remember, special order is when something is actually held in your inventory versus drop shipment is actually never touches your inventory. Since the sales order is going directly to holding supply and then being shipped to the end user directly, EC Barton, it never actually touches your inventory. So we would hit drop shipment, right? So we could do this. Everything's normal. We're good. We hit save. All right, now it automatically creates a purchase order because it's a drop ship. And that's the configuration setup. And this is set up to automatically go to EC intercompany TP brands, right? Which would cause the intercompany transaction, but we're not interested in that. We're going to actually just change the vendors pre forward warning supply. The correct information is updated. It's all good. You would have to update the price. Maybe it's, um, it's a slight markup, right? So it's 85 cents or something. I'm not sure how it would work for you. Hit, hit OK, and then you should be good to go, right? But there'll be no intercompany transaction. You just hit Save. It's saving. And it's great. Now, once holding supply that you know that's been shipped, you can hit mark shipped. Right, do item fulfillment. As a reference, drop ship number that's coming from right here as well, the PO. All right. Being saved, and we can go ahead and bill. EC part, right? And you go ahead and bill them. I'm not going to go ahead and send the bill. I actually hit cancel at this point. And go along the process deleting it. But this is just a summarization of what the process would look like. Please note, I did not actually update that item, so. Um, do not so we do not have to whenever we're doing a new item we do not have to update it we just have to find the same old item create the purchase order and once we create the purchase order we create the sales order the sales order will automatically create the purchase order then we jump to the purchase order and then update the vendor information and then once it's been shipped once the vendor tells us it's been shipped we hit the ship button mark shipped which will take us to item fulfillment we follow the pro continue the process of item fulfillment and then we get to this invoice screen right all right, thank you. Let me know if you have any questions.